The Ubuntu 22.04 LTS Beta is now available for early adopters and public beta testers. Powered by long-term supported Linux 5.15 LTS kernel series, which includes a brand new implementation of NTFS file system that allows you to read and write data to such drives. This version of Ubuntu Beta comes pre-installed with latest and greatest Genome 42 desktop environment, as well as triple buffering patch. Arguably, the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS is the most anticipated version because under the hood it carries lots of functionalities. Today in this video, we are going to take a look at all the details, so without a further ado, let's get started. Now keep in mind that beta version is still intended for testing purpose and you should not replace it with your production machine. But here is what you should expect from Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Talking about some key highlight features, this version of Ubuntu is significant upgrade that includes desktop environment improvements and visual changes with new features. While most of the other Ubuntu-based Linux distribution allows you to change the color of your assets, Ubuntu did not. Now with Ubuntu 20.04, you can easily change the assets color that affect the folder, the notification area and other aspect of your desktop experience. And finally, Genome 42, the long-awaited desktop environment upgrade is now available. While the Genome implementation in Ubuntu does not include horizontal dock, the rest of the benefits should be included. It's got some new visual changes, Genome app refinements, also a new screenshot app, and with Ubuntu 22.04, you should be able to enjoy all the benefits of Genome 42. The dark mode, light mode experience should improve and Genome 42 includes an upgrade to the system-wide dark mode implementation. Also, this release now supports Ascent Colors thanks to awesome contribution from the independent developer who also managed to build a personalized section in Ubuntu settings panel with tons of tweaks for your Ubuntu desktop. Next one, Mozilla Firefox as a snap. Firefox will now be included as a default as a snap package in Ubuntu 22.04 as a part of collaborative effort from Mozilla aimed at pushing faster security updates and ensuring cross-distribution support without the need to maintain numerous things. Next one, it's got better Raspberry Pi support. With the addition of ZSwap performance on Raspberry Pi boards, performance on Raspberry Pi boards should improve noticeably. It can even run on Raspberry Pi 4 with 2 gigs of RAM and you can put this enhancement to the test on your Raspberry Pi boards. Next one, access to the Ubuntu Professional. Ubuntu Pro is a paid subscription that allows businesses and enterprises to receive critical security updates for a variety of packages. Most desktop users will not find it useful, however, if you want to get Ubuntu Pro subscription and connect it to your system, you can do that easily by going into Ubuntu Pro section under the software and updates. Next one, 5.15 LTS Linux kernel. Well, the Linux kernel 5.15 LTS is a significant upgrade that includes improved NTFS driver, preliminary support for upcoming Intel discrete graphics and additional performance enhancements are there. Next one, RISC-V live image. Starting with Ubuntu 22.04, a separate live image for RISC-V architecture is now available. This version has got significant changes with major upgrades. It also got improved installer that provides a better user experience. Also, it's got OpenSSL 3.0, Ruby 3.0, Python 3.10, PHP 8.1 and other newer software packages. You can download the beta version and install it in a virtual machine or onto a spare system partition if you want to experience new LTS release. You can upgrade to Ubuntu 22.04 beta if you are currently running Ubuntu 21.10 or Ubuntu 20.04. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to hit that like, share this video, subscribe to our channel and this is Kedar from How to Guys signing out.